Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts here. We're working on this uh, Autolite 2100 two-barrel carburetor. And we're going to uh, install the uh, float here. And we'll talk about that. So just hang on. We'll get to it in just a second. Okay, so let's install the float system. First of all, we got to put the seat in there. And the seat has a gasket on it. Uh, our kit will have the needle and seat in a separate baggie like this. Uh, all together so you know which gasket to put on it. Okay, and then we want to put the needle in there. Uh, but first the needle, uh, we'll put this little clip on here like this. Okay. There's the clip. There may be two clips. Use this one. On, on this 2100, at least on this one, and clips on just like that, and you put it on the float tab like that, okay? And so the idea of it is that, uh, that it will keep the, or it will help pull that needle out when the float comes up, or goes down rather, when it lose, when you lose uh, fuel in the float bowl, okay? So, that's how that works. Now, you put the pin in there, and let's see if I got it the right way. It goes two different ways. Okay, that looks like it's so. That looks like it's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just like that. All right. So, what we want to do is take this and clip it. On the float pin. And don't forget to inspect your float pin. Make sure it's uh, not really worn. See if that was going to, yeah, that's going to end up correct. Okay, so there we go. So that's on there. Put this back on. Okay, so you don't want the pin more so that the uh, uh, float binds up. Now, that needle, the Viton tip, on a new one, I would take some mineral spirits and wipe it off to get any residue off of it. Uh, that'll happen over 10 cranks or so anyway. Uh, but right off the bat, if you clean the residue off, you won't have any trouble with it sealing. And it goes in there just like that. Now the whole idea of this little clip on the pin is to make sure that when the float goes up and down, it pulls that pin out straight and not get cocked sideways. Now, this clip right here, the retainer, you push it down. There it goes. And it clips into the uh, groove that's built into that neat seat. Alright, so there we go. Now, as far, as far as the float adjustment, I'm not going to give you a uh, an adjustment because it's different for different applications. So, find your carburetor. Uh, if you don't have the carburetor number, uh, look for the closest application that you have and look on the uh, instruction sheet that you can get with the kit. And you want to measure from the top of the float bowl to the top of the float, okay? And that's the measurement you want. Now this one looks like it's, uh, it probably should end up being more level than anything. Now, I don't adjust it while it's in the, uh, in here, because you might put pressure on the needle and you don't want to do that. That will damage it for sure. So you take the float out. Okay. And I want a little higher. I want to set up a little more. So I'm going to take this tab and I'm going to bend it down a little bit. Don't bend the float here. It'll break and you'll have a leak. Put it back in there. Oop, I think I went the wrong way.
You don't have to bend it very much to make a difference. Okay, that's going to be pretty close. The float will probably end up being pretty close to level. Okay, put the clip back on. And there you go. Okay. Don't worry about the drop. It just needs a drop. Uh, it's going to drop enough to pull that pin out. The needle. And allow fuel to come in. And it's as simple as that. So again, you measure from here with, with the float up like this, the, with it seated, the needle seated I should say, and uh, measure from the top of the float ball to the middle of the float on the top here. And that's where you adjust it. And it'll be close to the level, but look at the spec sheet and set it to the specs. Don't fudge. Just set it to what it says and you'll be fine. Okay? Alright, so that's how you put the... Uh, Look together.